agencies of the government, they are being rapidly brought from their state of comparative savagery and barbarism to one of civilization. Who ran the social services program? It was the Bureau of Indian Affairs, and the Bureau of Indian Affairs was adopting kids off the reservation. Every family had a story of the loss of a child, and they never knew what happened to them after that. We want our children and our grandchildren, but we are not allowed to keep them. I think it's still the policy to drive us to extinction. We are the rightful heirs of everything on this continent. In our DNA lies that code that makes up who we are. I know anyone who returns to their homeland, whether they've been adopted or not, feel that reconnect. I was 35 years old when I went home for the first time. I didn't know how to do it. I just went and started asking questions. We're still seeing Native kids taken three times more likely than non-Native kids away from their families. I don't believe for a minute that they give one hoot about the welfare of Indian children. The idea of being Indian is a very complicated enterprise. Most adoptees expect nothing because we've learned to not expect anything. Where am I from? Who do I look like? They may have been told they weren't wanted. I was told I wasn't wanted. I got tired of Indian people carrying around this victim mentality. You want to talk about getting out of a self-defeating narrative, that's a good one to get rid of the idea that Indians are victims. As adoptees, we're not looking to be pitied. We're not victims. We're your relatives who have been stolen. With our wounded selves, as we heal, we can move forward and be that healing movement to our people. Blood memory, to me, that's the best way I can explain that. How about a big round of applause for all our adoptees, friends and relatives. Welcome home.